I'd have to say that Pokemon fans are one of the most dedicated fan bases on, on the internet. A lot of their dedicated fans have been fans since the games first came out. Like to them, Pokemon is... Pokemon is something that was part of their childhood because Pokemon originally started getting big in the 90s. A lot of these people now are millennials or some of them are Gen Z like myself. You know, they were either, you know, born in the late 80s, early 90s, and then there's a few of them born in the late 90s. Not so much because I feel like it's more of definitely more leaning towards a millennial thing. But like I said, there probably is a, a, a decent amount of Gen Z is chucked in there as well. But these people are so devoted to this game, so devoted to not just the games, but also the franchise in general, that they will go ahead and they will defend this shit to the fucking ends of the earth. And the reason why we're talking about this today is that Pal World has recently come out and it is basically another, you know, Pokemon copy. And I'm going to get into a little bit more about there being several because this is not the first time that there's been a Pokemon copy out in the wild. There's been so many over the years and i'll get it like i said i'll get into a few more examples about that later on but this game has actually been doing well so far it's only been out for a few days on steam and it's actually doing well in terms of sales player base and you know what the game actually looks good i watched asmund gold play it for like a couple of hours the other day i'm sure i didn't watch his stream but i watched the vod like uh, that he uploaded to you to youtube and i was watching through that and you know what the game actually looks really good and looks really fun and me myself after watching him play it because i was just like i'm not sure if i'd want to get this game once i saw it i was just like i actually kind of want to get this game because it is really fun but of course when other people are having fun there's another certain amount of people that have to just bring that all down and the people that are bringing this down are obviously the pokemon fans a lot of them are fucking mad why are they mad? They are mad because Power World, supposedly to them, is blatantly ripping off Pokemon. That is what they're stating. Now, this is like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show a few tweets. I'll read through a couple. So there's this one tweet that came out. And this was initially, I, I like started finding out about this because I saw IGN post an article about it on Twitter. And I find it really interesting just of how salty and how like mad these Pokemon fans can get. And this guy right here, this person tweets out, says, On the topic of Power Word monster design, no heavily referencing and copying from Pokemon designs won't harm the Pokemon company, which is 100% true. If, if, if someone goes ahead and heavily references the Pokemon designs, it's not going to harm the Pokemon company. The Pokemon as a brand is so fucking popular and so big that nothing will ever be able to eclipse it or hurt it in any way possible. I don't think people are arguing that. So this is what they're going on. What it does come off as incredibly lazy, incredibly shady and lazy makes something original. Now, to a certain degree, I do, I do agree to this to what this person is saying you know it can come off as like shady and lazy because you know what trying to like you know capitalize off pokemon and just kind of maybe copying it and just like copying and pasting a lot of the things then yeah it would be lazy and yeah it would kind of be smart to make something original but you know what if you really think about it nothing is original nothing at all is original and i really don't think it's that bad that if you see a game and you think like, that game is really cool. I want to go ahead and make my own style of the game. It's the exact same as when it comes to like something like um, PoE. Path of Exile is a lot of people say it's like a spiritual succession to Diablo 2. Because Diablo 3 and 4 have been terrible. And Path of Exile is them going ahead, doing their own thing in terms of an ARPG. Souls-like games. Dark Souls was so successful that it legit like spawned its own category. And there is so many games out there now that are called Souls-like. One, one of the ones that would probably look very similar to Souls um, would have to be Lords of the Fallen. That game looks extremely similar. It's not anywhere near as good. And even like Lies of P would have to be one that's like probably really good, but it's completely different and it's got its own style, but it's still fitting that Souls-like game. So at the same time, there's nothing wrong with referencing. But I feel like some of these Pokemon fans are going really far. There's this tweet here, right here. He says, Actually, Cinderus, funnily enough, has the best chance of getting Power Word sued by the Pokemon company. No, you cannot. They will not sue them. This is complete carbon copy. The only difference this thing has between Cinderus is its grass type. Yeah, so having, um, you know, long ears... And some, you know, fist and like a, a different thing with like some different feet. Yeah, it, you can obviously tell us reference, but you can't sue a company over that. I'm sorry, but I don't think this person actually knows how like trademark works 
and how like being able to win successfully in a lawsuit actually would work. You can't sue this person over this. I'm sorry, but Nintendo, Nintendo owns Pokemon, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can't go ahead and sue the people who created Power World. And there's also other examples of, you know, Power World, obviously, you know, very heavily being influenced by Pokemon. And some of them look very similar. And you know what? I don't blame them to a certain extent because to a certain extent, you know, if you're trying to wanting to bring in that Pokemon and trying to bring in some familiarity to some people, it kind of is smart to some extent to kind of, you know, reference heavily the game that you are, are wanting to represent. Maybe these people who made Power Word are actually a really big fan of Pokemon and they want to make their own version and they're just like really inspired by Power World. But there's nothing wrong with, with any of this at all. Now, I like how these people on Twitter as well just kind of, you know, picked out, just very nitpicked a lot of like some of the designs that, that they saw on Power Word and says like, oh, look, they have like a few a few of the mobs that they got or a few of the pals instead of the pokemons in the game that look so similar to pokemon and because they have a few that's heavily referenced to it they gotta sue this company it, it, it's a complete ripoff of the game I, I don't think that these people have actually watched any gameplay of power world or actually seen anything of power world in power world your pals have guns like look at this big guy right here who looks like a jacked up snorlax with a fucking Gatling gun. He has a mini gun. And then look at this little cute thing. Has a fucking AK-47. Not only that. You can also ride some of these Pokemon as well. Which looks fucking incredible. Like the game actually looks really good. At the same time. Not just that. You can like. You put your pals to work. So essentially. What you can do is that you go out. You beat the shit out of the pals to like close to death then you capture them you bring them back to your base and then you make them work for you not only that you can capture people if you see another trainer or another person in the wild just like doing their regular thing you can beat them half to death and then capture them too and you know what's even funny is that once you capture them they count as your pal and any pal that you have you can butcher them to death now I don't know how you can tell me that that is ripping off Pokemon because I would never see Pokemon in a million fucking years do anything like that. And if we want to go ahead and talk about Pokemon, I don't get how these people... One thing that I... One reason why I want to make this video as well is because these Pokemon fans, to me, are just fucking coping because they are seeing another game that looks really good and is doing really well. And they're coping really hard because how has the last couple Pokemon games gone? Especially the last one, Scarlet and Violet. Well, I'll tell you fucking right now that that game was fucking disastrous. It is arguably the worst Pokemon to ever exist. And even I've played, I, I haven't played many Pokemon games throughout the years, but I've watched like gameplay of Pokemon games. I've watched all of them. I've, I've seen like gameplay from the first one all the way up to the current one. I have played, I think, Sword and Shield. I did play a bit of that. It's okay. But man, I watch gameplay of Scarlet and Violet. The graphics, I have seen better graphics in a tooth, it, it, on a game, on a PlayStation fucking 2. And people can't tell me that it is literally like, it, the, you can't tell me that it's limited because of the Switch. People who say that like, oh, Pokemon doesn't look that good. Like Scarlet and Violet doesn't look that good because in terms of like, capabilities the switch is like very limited well you obviously haven't seen zelda tears of the kingdom or breath of the wild because even though those games are exclusively on the switch despite the switch having you know limited capabilities those games look fucking phenomenal absolutely phenomenal where pokemon scarlet and violet on the other hand looks like a game off the fucking playstation one and has so many bugs and glitches that it is almost unplayable at time and a fucking joke to the whole entire like to the whole entire brand of pokemon and not only this is that people are making this out like it's the first time ever that we have seen a pokemon copy or a pokemon clone pokemon clones have been around ever since pokemon got famous digimon is probably the earliest known pokemon clone and digimon was actually relatively popular but if you look at some of the characters that were in Digimon, it legit looks like a straight fucking ripoff 
of Pokemon. The only difference is that instead of evolving into a massive beast, what does Digimon evolve into? <laughs> Fucking mechs. Fucking goddamn mechs. And it just makes it so much more like a badass and just... Even though they've cloned Pokemon into a certain extent, yeah, they did their own spin on it. But this isn't the first time. Even in recent times, one of the most recent Pokemon clones that we've seen is, I think I think it's a free-to-play game, was Temtem. Temtem. It's literally a Pokemon clone where you just go ahead, you capture animals, and then you put them to fight other animals. I think a lot of these Pokemon fans are just getting mad for no fucking reason. They, I feel like a lot of these are just millennials who have nothing else better to do with their lives and are just wanting, getting so mad because they're actually seeing a game that is doing really well. Except for this guy right here. This person right here. I stand. I like this person. Nintendo fans. Um, haven't you, have you seen how many Power World creations are just a rip-off designs? It's evil to play this game. Me just wanting Pokemon with guns. <laughs> And then it's the fucking Danny DeVito me. So anyway, I just I just started blasting. Anyway, I started blasting. Bah, bah. Legit. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. You know what? If anything, you should be like, man, the game that I've loved for so many years, ever since I was a child, ever since I was a child, is so good that people still to this day are making clones of the game. And you know what? Power World is actually a good game. And maybe it'll show Nintendo to wake the fuck up and stop making shit Pokemon games. But you know what? I don't think that they will put effort. You want to know why? Because they could put out shit games like Scarlet and Violet and these Pokemon hardcore fans will still go ahead and still buy the shitty ass fucking games. They will. And now still say it's good. When all of us know that it's fucking terrible. That's it for me. Let me know what you guys think about this down below. Peace out.